Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video and if you've been subscribed for a while you know that I kind of have an ongoing series where I'll test out some viral DIYs and see if they actually work and why they are so viral. You know, if it's worth it, like if you can actually DIY, if it's something useful. So today that's what we're going to be doing. My last video where I did something like this is the DIY rainbow highlighter. You can click the info card if you want to see how that works out. But today's video is all about EOS lip balms. I mean EOS anything really is like super viral on YouTube. I don't know why but apparently you can turn these things into like like anything beauty related. Honestly, just search DIY EOS and I swear to you, you'll find EOS mascara, EOS lip gloss, and EOS lipstick, which is what we're gonna be doing today. So basically the idea is that you can transform one of your old EOS lip balms and actually turn it into a customized lipstick by recycling your old makeup, which is a pretty awesome idea. So I hope that it actually works and we can customize our very own glitter lipstick. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not part of the S Club already. I'd love to have you part of the family. You don't wanna lose me in this big internet world. So hit the subscribe button Button so you can see my next videos and without further ado let's get on with the DIY so first off you're obviously gonna need an EOS lip balm I've used mine for a little while but you know now I'm ready to make it to something else so you can get these from Walmart or the drugstore they're pretty easy to find and then of course just grab some old lip products that you want to recycle and it just depends on what color you want to customize for yourself so you can use some old drugstore lipsticks you can even use eyeshadows, pigments. I've seen EOS lipsticks made with like all these different products, but I wanted to test out the one that put glitter in it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm using an old gray lipstick and some glitter. So then you're gonna need to start out with a mixing bowl of some sort. I'm just using a regular bowl. And then here comes the sad part. Take out the chapstick from your EOS. <sighs> Look at it, it looked so perfect and now I ruined it. Anyways, then take out the little contraption in the center. I don't really know what to call this, but it pops out pretty easily with a butter knife. And then what you're gonna need to do is actually flip that over and put it inside the lid part of the US container. And then it clips right into place, like it's meant to do that or something. So now you can place it on top of the bottom part of the container and it'll just sit there perfectly without rolling around. So just save that for later. And then I decided to take out half of the chapstick because I didn't want my lip product to be too waxy. Like I wanted it to still have a lipstick consistency. Then I threw in the lipstick I wanted to use, which happened to be a gray lipstick, poured in some glitter and some pigment that is beautiful for MAC. It's one of my favorite pigments. I wanted to see if I could make it into lipstick. It reflects teal, so it's so gorgeous. And then I I added some more glitter but this one is a little bit more finely milled because I wanted to make it as smooth as possible. Then once you're done adding everything you want to add to it and you think it's gonna be the perfect combination you can just go ahead and mix it all up. It's kind of hard at first but keep at it and it'll be mixed. And then just warm it up in the microwave for a bit and it should look like this when you bring it back all liquidy and mixed together and it's ready to pour into the cap of the container. So I almost didn't have enough product, but it ended up being the perfect amount and I just smoothed it out until the container was completely filled. And then all you gotta do is put it into the freezer for a few hours until it's completely hardened and bring it back. This is what it looks like. It's ready to be put back into place. So just pop out that same little contraption in the center and flip it back to the way it was on the bottom of the container. It should just clip back in there just like before. And look how smooth it looks. We got a whole new EOS. So now that we're done the DIY, I think it went pretty well. I mean, it looks really good in the uh, little EOS container here. It looks so smooth and pretty. Not gonna lie, I definitely thought it was gonna look a lot more glittery than this. Like it does have like an iridescence to it and kind of like a blue shimmer from the pigment. I did think I would see more of the big chunky glitter on there, but I don't really see it. So I'll give you guys a close up so you can see what it looks like after I took it out of the freezer. It's still that very gray color that I used from the lipstick. Definitely very promising. So before I try it on, I am gonna swatch it just to see how it swatches. Ooh, not gonna lie, it feels kind of scratchy and that's definitely because I put a lot of glitter and powder in there and I was wondering how that would kind of interact with the lipstick. You can see I still have a lot of color and shine to it. From far away, that looks really pretty, but it just feels kind of gross because you can feel all the little chunks of glitter. But let's try it on my lips and see how it goes. I'm gonna have to wipe this off and put this on. So I zoomed you guys in a lot closer. I have been wearing my makeup all day, so it's a little bit smudgy, don't judge me. But let's give this a go. My lips have a little bit of sparkles on them because the makeup wipe got the swatch on my lips you know what I mean I'm just gonna push down once to see how much pigment we can get Ooh, whoa <laughs> we made it really pigmented go us uh, it does uh, really pigmented but it does feel very scratchy just like how it did when I swatched it but honestly what can you expect when you put so much chunky glitter in a product like it doesn't mix really well with the cream I barely have to push down and I'm getting so much product 
but goddamn, is it ever scratchy. This is like a lip exfoliant at this point. It's also just a little bit difficult to get like a precise application because it's so round. So I'm gonna take a handy dandy lip brush and just get the product that way and see if that can help me apply a little more precisely. So this color is definitely a little bit out of this world, but that's kind of what I, what I wanted. I wanted something glittery, gray, very alien-like and like out of this world. You can definitely create something way more wearable if you just switch out what pigments you're using, what lipstick you're using. This is just something crazy that I wanted to try out and really put to the test to see if glitter will work with the lipstick, you know? So using a lip brush is definitely helping get a more precise application. As you can see, it's going on super patchy and really chunky. This is giving me like Elsa vibes, you know? Snow Ice Queen. I ain't even mad at it. I'm finding it applies a lot better and less patchy if I kind of dab it on. I think because if you swipe around, the glitter moves around the cream product, so you don't want that. Dab, dab, dab. Look at my dab. Look at my dab. I think I'm done applying it. I applied it as best as I could. It's really chunky and kind of patchy, but I'm honestly, I'm not hating it. Like, this is kind of what I expected from adding glitter to a cream lipstick, you know what I mean? Time to back it up a little bit. Woo! Ooh, I'm looking at myself from afar, I'm like, damn, this is bold. It really is. I look like I have frostbite on my lips, not gonna lie. It's kind of crazy, but it's my own fault. You know, I decided on this like gray color. I thought it would look really cool with the glitter and make it kind of like alien-like. As far as like the actual consistency in the product itself and how the DIY went, I would say it's kind of tough to make glitter work with a cream product without it being like patchy and just give you an all around not great like application because the glitter is so chunky. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel like you can do some interesting things with it. Like you can customize some pretty cool colors. You definitely don't have to go something as bold as this. If you have some other color ideas that you'd want to like mix different lipsticks in together and just really customize it, I think that'd be pretty cool. The glitter definitely ruined like the lipstick consistency of it. I should have just stuck with the pigments and just let that give me that iridescent kind of look I was going for instead of trying to actually add chunky ass glitter in it. Cause look, it, it looks crazy. <laughs> So that's my tip for next time. It's definitely just a fun DIY. I wouldn't take this too seriously. Like, I know I look crazy right now. Let's calm down, everyone. It's just something cool that I guess you could try out on a Friday night with your friends if you're bored and see what kind of concoctions you can make out of your EOS lip balm. If you're done using it, might as well try some that else with it, you know? Before you go, let me know in the comments what other viral DIY you want me to test out next. I definitely have a lot of fun doing these videos. Sometimes they're awesome. Sometimes I'm like, why are they so hyped up, you know? So if there's something that you're really curious if it actually works, let me know. So that's all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy video. If you missed my last upload, click the box down below to watch it. And don't forget to subscribe. Of course, I gotta remind you of that. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Blowing you icy kisses right now. <laughs> so weird. Look at this beautiful lip creation I made. I mean, oh, yes, glitter in my mouth and everything.